four, three, two, one. So it's all staggered. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode. We got Joey in the corner finishing up some drywall and what we got going on next is our ceiling. To wrap this up, we have to put plywood on the ceiling first, make sure it's all level. We do have some dips in it, but we're gonna level that out today with plywood. And then that's also gonna give us a good surface for our flooring. It's basically gonna be the hardest part we have left on this place. Once the ceiling's wrapped up, we're gonna basically just do smooth sailing from there. So we put these beams in just temporarily and then we're gonna put our plywood up. We bought some thicker plywood to put up there for us to stand on. On the ceiling, we're going to be putting thinner plywood. I think it's 11 30 seconds plywood, which is a little bit thinner than this. So we're going to start doing that now. We got our ceiling plywood and check it out. So it's pretty level, pretty smooth, and our flooring is gonna be able to sit right on this plywood and we'll be able to staple it and glue it right to that. So we're in pretty good shape for that. And what we're gonna do now is get all the drywall sanded. That way when we do go to install our ceiling, um, none of the drywall dust will be sitting up there and getting dirty. So we're gonna sand all the drywall now and then we're gonna start priming. We got our man's Joey. Little help, I need my light plug back. <laughs> <laughs> Drywall guy getting nice on the stilt. Getting in the corners. He's almost done with this room. We're gonna help him out a little bit. And then we're gonna start priming. Get this room done today. And then we're gonna move down into the bathroom and down into the hall here. Alright, so we got this room primed. So now we're gonna move on to the bathroom next. We're gonna get that done. So we got the bathroom primed. It's looking pretty good. The homeowner is deciding to go with a blue, not that blue. It's too bright. And there's the tile he's gonna go with. So we're gonna move along now and wipe down these walls, clean this place up, and then prime this whole room in the loft. And if you guys were wondering what color he's going to be doing out here, he's got some green samples on the wall. It's really dark. So here's a little bit better lighting. Still not the best. Should look pretty nice with the floor. He's going with this bottom one. That's going to be all out here. Also in the bedroom in the back. But quick update before we prime. I'm going to brought another sample of paint. This is a blue cloud, so that would be a nicer blue. We got the main room prime. Take a look. The loft is all painted too and everything, but come over here and look at the steps. The steps are looking pretty sharp. This wall turned out really well. If you guys remember in the second or third video, we were framing this wall and this is plaster and this is drywall. So this transition we did pretty well. Turned out amazing, honestly. So this is all done and what we're gonna do now is go ahead and try to start the ceiling. All right guys, so we're gonna start the ceiling now. It's gonna be a fun one. Um, we figured out that to start, we're gonna project our laser all the way around the room and start all of our pieces off of one line, which is uh, this laser line, it's all level. And we're gonna start by starting right there where Chris is. And we got our first piece up. We're using nails and glue. Yeah, we put nails right into the tongue right here, and then we're gonna have trim cover these nails on the bottom. But the laser is even all the way around, so. So what we're gonna do now is put all of our first pieces up all the way around the bottom. And then after that, we're going to run all of our other pieces all the way up and get it all the way done. So let's go ahead and start that now. All 
Alrighty guys, we're gonna show you how to put in a full piece on our ceiling. We have our rows started. We did a four, three, two, one. So it's all staggered. None of our seams will line up. Every four rows they will, but. So this is how we install one piece. We line it up and then we get the hammer, another piece. And now we have to close this gap. So we have to hit the piece from this side. To close that gap. And now we we'll go ahead and just nail it in. So that's how you install one piece. Uh, as you can tell, it's a long and hard process, but sometimes it's smooth sailing like that. But we'll show you some more now with some time lapses. third base here we got this hip roof done it's looking pretty good it's kind of dark it's a gloomy day but we're gonna run down this stretch home base and try to get that done here next so we're still figuring out trim ideas on how to cover some of our cuts and basically to go around the beams and stuff this is kind of what we're thinking right now um, we might have to cut it a certain way on the table saw possibly to get a better angle on it but uh, probably just going to stay in this dark and put it up in the corners and finish the top and around the fan box. We're going to run up the rest of this ceiling and finish strong on it. pieces up it's looking really good super hot up here it's like 90 degrees today and this loft is super insulated so we're really sweating but we got it done so what we're gonna do now is clean up and show you from the floor see what it looks like from down there all right so we just got down and cleaned up take a look at the ceiling it's looking really good So guys, keep in mind, there are gonna be rope lights on top of all these beams, shining light upward onto the ceiling. So that's gonna look really cool. We also have to still go around our fan box and uh, do some trim work around everywhere we just did. So it's gonna look really sharp in the end, but we just got cleaned up for a reason because our cabinets are coming today and we wanna get the floor down so we can start installing this kitchen. Um, we got a little rendering of what the kitchen's gonna look like. This is the island down here. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. We got the whole vaulted ceiling busted out, and it's looking really good. It was hard, but well worth it. It turned out amazing. In the next video, we're going to get this whole floor knocked out, so that way we can install this kitchen. Feel free, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, and also drop a like. With that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.